Welcome to me and my golf. We're your coaches, Piers and Andy. Now, Andy, one of the biggest questions you get on social media is how do you generate so much power with such little effort? Your golf swing looks so smooth and generates so much power. Andy, it's kind of your speciality, isn't it? It certainly is, Piers. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's get into the secrets to creating effortless power. Now, before we do, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We do videos to help your game every single week. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And if you enjoy this, hit the thumbs up. Okay, well, first of all, effortless power, it doesn't necessarily happen. There's plenty of effort going in to create speed. It just appears that way. And I think what we're gonna go through today is three simple things really that will help you create some more speed and it will make it a little bit easier. But certainly with the best players in the world, and with myself, I'm not quite as good as the best players in the world, but with myself, it just appears that I'm actually not trying to hit it that hard because of these three key things. So my ball speed or my club speed, should I say, is about 115 to 117 miles per hour. And that's pretty consistent. And often people say, well, how do you hit it so far with such a slow swing? Well, the swing speed is high, but the swing may appear very slow. And these are the key things that we're gonna talk about. And the first thing is turn. Well, think about this. Our pivot in the backswing or our turn in the backswing actually creates time in the swing. So the bigger the turn, the bigger the time and the slower the swing will look, certainly on the way back. If you ever see somebody who looks like they've got a fast golf swing, it's possibly because they have a fast backswing because of a short turn. So if I do a swing here now, watch. And that was a short turn, which appeared fast but it was actually a really, a really slow club head speed. So it was a fast swing in time, but a slow speed in club head speed. So if we can produce a bigger turn, a better turn, it's gonna give us that time, but also give us some potential speed as well. So one of the best drills, one of our favorite drills, which is so simple, use this all the time, is just putting the club on the ground, inside the trail heel, other one across the shoulders like this, and all we're really gonna do here is just focus on moving the midsection of the body, the core from the belt to the mid part of the chest. And all you're gonna do here is do your best to actually match these golf clubs up. Now you'll see as I'm doing this, I'm going nice and smooth. I'm not rushing it, I'm building this up, I'm winding up over there. You'll even see the knee kicking in, which is fine because the hips are turning here. But this is creating that turn and it's creating that time, which actually gives it a slightly slower look but it increases the chances of you getting more speed at the bottom. So a very simple drill that you can do. When you do that drill, make sure the lead shoulder stays down, points down at the ground still. But just notice the difference now. I'll add in that turn in the backswing compared to that previous shot. Now on that one, there's a lot more club head speed, but it looked actually quite slow. It looked a slow swing, but it was a slower backswing because of the turn. Okay. Next thing is time. Now, we've talked about the backswing, which is important, but some people still swing the golf club back a little fast, even when they've got a, a decent turn. Now, if you're a little quick and you waste this energy on the way back too fast, well, you may want to think about slowing that down as well. So, like me and my golf will use the phrase take charge, which means you're taking ownership of your game. So, we like to get people to think about take charge as they swing back and even say it in their mind. So as I swing back here now, I'm just, I'm just gonna repeat that in my mind. So from here, take, charge. This will slow me down a little bit. I don't wanna be going take and just a little fast. So from here, as I move the club away, take, charge. And I want the charge to happen as the club is sort of getting towards the top. So let me hit one shot there and I'll say that loud. Again, really great way of slowing it down, combining it with the turn. Take, charge. So again, really helps me slow that backswing down as long as I'm combining it with a, uh, a good turn. Okay, the next thing, transition. Transition is important, but what is transition? Well, transition is what joins the backswing to the downswing. It's the change of direction where we get to the top of the backswing and then start to use the ground and use the lower body. Now, the best players in the world, the people who make it look really easy and effortless, they get to the top, and they start by using the lower body first. The lower body drives towards the target that then pushes, passes energy onto the, the torso, then to the arms, and then to the club head. Now from here, that sequence of events makes it actually look a little slower, but because they're transferring energy from the ground out to the club, the speed is at the bottom. 
we're not going here and then swinging down really fast and getting all the speed here. We're using the ground to actually get the speed at the, at the right time. Now what we see the best players in the world, they get to the top or just before they get to the top, their lower body starts to drive towards the target and starts to rotate. As we do this, we get this stretch between the upper body and the lower body. This stretch then helps us to actually then start off and get this sort of sequence of events. So a great drill that you can do is maybe with a range basket or something like this, a den caddy or even a chair, if it's a small chair, place it outside your lead foot. And all we're gonna do here is make a backswing and we're gonna feel as if the, the lower body can start to move towards this first with the upper body or the back still facing the target. A lot of what we see is we'll get to the top of the golf swing is we'll see that the upper body starting first and opening out very early. Hips haven't really moved. There's no real stretch, which, re which means you're gonna lose that power. So if we can get to the top, start with the lower body driving, but keep the back towards the target, that then helps us sort of pull down from there and really creates this stretch that we need. So let me hit a shot here. And my focus is to get the lower body working towards this early with my back still facing the target in transition. So let's see if we can put that together. And one thing I do notice whenever, whenever I have, I have a, a focus on the lower body and certainly when I'm really trying to push, the speed automatically goes up because I'm really engaging the ground, which is important. So we've got turn, time, transition. We've got one more thing that I want you guys to do to get to put it all together, to combine every single one of these to get more speed at the right time. All you're gonna do, flip the club around and this is just obviously gonna create some uh, less weight here. Now, if we can get the speed or the whoosh of this club to happen past the golf ball, that means we can start to use the ground and use our body to generate this speed in a better way, so it's here. If we tend to swing early from the top, use the hands a little early, don't use the lower body, we're gonna hear the whoosh a lot earlier before the golf ball, and we wanna hear it after the golf ball. So let me just demonstrate here. And I'm still gonna incorporate the, the turn and the time on the way back. So from here, and you'll see the speed there is much more past the golf ball. You can see the speed of the way back. But as I'm doing that, I'm allowing my body to turn and wind up, the transition to take place, and then the speed is towards the bottom there, right after the golf ball. If we go quick and then, and then like this, all the speed's dumped out early. You're not gonna get the maximum speed and you're also not gonna get a good strike and flight as well. Out of breath doing that. So, okay, so one more shot here now. Now I am on this one gonna try and hit it hard. I'm gonna go for speed on this, but you'll see that there's gonna be effort in this, but it's not gonna look like I'm putting a lot of effort in because of the way I'm using the body, in the backswing, the transition, and how I'm getting through the golf ball. But this is gonna be plenty of effort for me. So let's put them all together and see what we can come up with. And you can even see there that I held my finish. I was in balance, but there was plenty of speed on that shot. But how I used my body, that's the secret. Those are the three key things that are really gonna help you. Thanks so much for that explanation, Andy. It actually does make sense, and then we can see why you have got some decent power in that golf swing. Now, look, we know that times are still tough at the moment with this pandemic, and we normally have a seven-day free trial at meandmygolf.com, but now we have the 30-day free trial. So if you haven't seen this already, make sure you click the link down below. Take advantage of the 30-day free trial. This is where we put our premier content in. We've even unlocked three of our best coaching plans, how to play the basics, simple secrets to lower scores, and flexible in 15, as well as launching just yesterday, the Home Swing Guide, which is everything that you need to know about building your golf swing for the next five weeks, talking about setup and moving all the way through into that driver in the fifth week. So make sure you check that out. Click the link down below. As we said, this is our premium content where you get the best stuff. Yes, thanks again, guys, for watching, and we will see you soon.